वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट को रूटीन स्कोप्ड बिल्डर वेल स्कोप बिल्डर हैज टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्कोप्ड बिल्डर वी हैव को रूटीन स्कोप वी हैव सुपरवाइजर स्कोप लेट सी वन बाई वन वॉट इज अ मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन दम एंड वेन शुड यू यूज कोटिन स्कोप कोटिन बिल्डर एंड वेन यू शुड यूज सुपरवाइजर स्कोप कोटिन बिल्डर सो फॉर दैट I'm going to create a main function which I already did, and we have a run blocking. So this will provide me a Cortin scope, and Cortin scope supervisor scope is an extension function over Cortin scope. So let's begin with Cortin scope scoped builder. So for that, I'm going to create a Cortin scope. Well, it's a scoped builder. Now in this, let's say I'm launching here a new Cortin, and in this I'm going to print. first again i'm going to launch one more new core routine and i'm printing here second now when you execute it you will see first and second now just copy this core in scope builder paste below and instead of using here core in scope use supervisor scope and i'm going to just use this thing in a form of pre prefix to this statements okay just execute it so we have first second we have supervisor scope first and supervisor scope second no difference it's pretty much same now the main difference between them is to ability to handle those exceptions well if any exception you will throw within your code in scope it will stops the execution of their children's well this launch and this launch will eventually called as a children to our cortin scope now let's say in between them i'm using here launch and this time i'm interested to throw an exception some gibberish exception when you execute it you will see will receive the first from this coroutine and after that will receive the exception and this is my message which is correct now i'm going to just remove or comment this thing out and use one more launch and this time i'm going to throw an exception within our supervisor scope some gibberish of course now this time when i execute it you will see first second so this is coming from our first cortin scope scoped builder next we have supervisor scope scoped builder it will print supervisor scope first which you can see over here next will throw an exception so this is my exception message and after that still it prints the third co routine print statement which is supervisor scope second as you can see in here so the main difference between co routine scope and supervisor scope is once you throw any exception within your code and scope it simply stops the execution of your child co routine whereas with supervisor scope it is not the case even though you'll throw an exception still it continues working to their second children so basically it continue working on the next children and this is the main difference between them the ability to handle the exceptions when you throw any of them within their scope and next we are going to talk about coroutine context so what is coroutine context well coroutine context is nothing but it's a collection of few coroutine elements that contains the information regarding your coroutine so we have dispatcher we have job we have coroutine exception handler so these three collection will eventually become your coroutine context because it will give you the clear idea about your coroutine so let's build it so first we have to create a dispatcher well dispatcher will eventually tell you on which thread your co routine will be executed so let's say i want to execute my co routine on io thread so that's why i'm using here dispatcher io next if you want to create a new job you can simply use here job object just import it so this will create a new job for your co routine and also it will provide you all the information regarding your job as we have already seen in launch the return type of this extension function is job this will give you all the information regarding this particular core routine so you can create a new job and you can simply pass this job in a form of core in context to your launch next we have exception handler 
सो इफ यू एनकाउंटर एनी एक्सेप्शन विद इन योर लॉन्च को रूटीन यू कैन हैंडल दोज एक्सेप्शन विद इन दिस एक्सेप्शन हैंडलर सो यू कैन यूज को रूटीन एक्सेप्शन हैंडलर एंड इन दिस वी हैव टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट विल रिसीव द कॉन्टेक्सट एंड एक्सेप्शन नाइस सो इट्स टाइम टू यूज ऑल ऑफ दिस थ्री को रूटीन एलिमेंट्स सो फॉर दैट आई एम गोना क्रिएट वन मोर वेरिएबल नेमिंग को रूटीन कॉन्टेक्सट एंड यू कैन यूज प्लस ऑपरेटर विथ दिस थ्री को रूटीन एलिमेंट्स लाइक विथ डिस्पैचर we have a new job plus exception handler so in this exception handler i am using print ln and just print the message that will receive when user throw any kind of exception within our launch co routine now i'm going to use my context and pass my co routine context in it and in this launch i'm going to throw an exception and in place of message just some chibris cool so when you execute it you will see nothing because launch is not able to handle exceptions so in order to handle exceptions we will use coordin scope or supervisor scope and we have already discussed what is the difference between them it is related to the exception handling mechanism so now i am going to just use here coordin scope cut this thing paste within this scope and execute it okay so we are not receiving any kind of exception this is because it is present within a new job so when you remove this job then only you are able to see the exception as you can see in here we are getting the exception and this is my message but i want to print this message within this print ln function is it is possible when you are using supervisor scope because with code in scope once it got any exception it simply close or shut down the operation but with supervisor scope it is not the case so let's use here supervisor scope and execute it now this time you can see this is my exception message so this is coroutine context and also we have seen supervisor scope and coroutine scoped scoped coroutine builder